Hello, hello. Welcome to Top Shelf Backpacking. Today, in lieu of a product review, we're doing a little bit of a first take of an item I am really hoping will get my wife back out on trail. Back in 2021, my wife went on her first and so far only backpacking trip, 50 miles on the Pacific Crest Trail from Timberline Lodge in Oregon all the way up to Cascade Locks. We encountered the worst trail conditions I've ever experienced all in one day, but she said the biggest thing keeping her from coming back was the sleep. We slept on a oh, probably two and a half or three inch thick X-Pad Sinmat Duo because uh, I wanted to make sure I carried all the weight, so I had a big double pad, which is probably a mistake looking back on it. Uh, so her first experience sleeping on the ground was on a pad she really didn't care for, and unfortunately there wasn't much we could do about it. So when I saw this Neoware Topo Lux size large on clearance at my local Sportsman's, I jumped at the chance to pick it up, because it is 4 inches thick, 25 inches wide, and 77 inches long all for one pound and 14 ounces. So we're gonna crack this guy open and inflate it, kind of show you some of its features. Let's get into it. So included in here, we have the pad itself, obviously. We have its stuff sack, instructions, warranty info, and a big, inflation bag or pump sack. Uh, the ones that came with my other Neowares I didn't really care for. It had this really weird attachment down at the bottom, but this one looks ooh, more substantial, hard to open. There we go. Uh, but that looks like it would probably stay in place a little bit better. I am a fan of these if they can double as a dry bag. But this one has a nice big opening and a draw cord. So, I was planning on using my tiny pump X. I think I'll check and see if it fits, but we'll probably try pumping it up with the pump sack. Chances are good it would work better if you put it on the inflate end. Let's give that a try. Yep, that seems to be working. But, let's see how well this pump sack works. So it clicks firmly in place, which I like. And instead of trying to like gather air, if you blow typically about 10 to 12 inches away from it, that fills it full of air, and then you just squeeze. Okay, that took a good bit of time, but the pump sacks are usually a little easier because you're not using all of your breath. And it helps keep some of the moisture out, which should help it retain more of its uh, temp rating. This guy has an R value of 3.7, so it should be pretty good for three season use. As you can see, it's about four inches thick and 25 inches wide. I did get the size large, which is 25 wide and 77 long. Um, they did have a regular wide, which is 72 inches long, but I found what can happen when I use the bag, especially with my larger Sierra Design sleeping bag, is when it gets really cold, I kind of like tuck down to the bottom, and sometimes I sleep on my stomach in the Superman position. Even though I'm only 5'5", five five, it's really nice to make sure all of me stays on the pad. Uh, if we end up liking this, I even have a 30 inch wide version. 
uh, by 77 long, which kind of intrigues me for those uh, glamping trips. This is a heavier pad at 1 pound 14 ounces, according to the box. Um, I'll do an actual weight on my scale before we do a total review. But here in a few days, the wife and I are headed down to Southern Oregon for her first Gambler 500 event, and we will be camping out Saturday night, so she will have a chance to try this out. If she likes it, sleeps well enough, hopefully that is what we need to get her back out on trail to enjoy some adventures with me. So, if you've had any experience with the Thermarest Topo Lux, drop a comment, shoot me an email, and I look forward to a full review after I get this guy out on trail. For more information on all the products you see on this channel, visit TopShelfBackpacking.com, and until I see you again, cheers.